Okay, time for another shame video. Today it's um, uh, Sapona de Palo. Very nice soap or croak or whatever name you want to give it. It's a razor I really like. It's uh, called the Tennis Razor by Fritz Bracht. I think that's how you say it. Fritz Bracht. Here it is. See that? Really nice underestimated razor very very thin extra hollow groin <coughs> and uh, yeah let's get this going got the uh, theta can't remember which number it is where's the theta okay Everyone's been well. All my shaver friends in uh, locally in Australia, in the United States, Europe, UK, wherever you are. Okay, that's nice. Leather right there. Probably need some water. Here we go, that's better. I like when a leather has a bit of a sheen to it. The consistency I like. Okay. It's already two minutes and a half of me talking shit. How's that? And you're still watching. Good effort. A little story about this razor for the guys that liked at home. Tried a few different edges. 20k edge was fantastic. Dnat edge was fantastic. Thought I'd take it further. Did a 0.25 micron poly diamond edge. Took it. It was a really nice close shave, but it took away too much skin. So I went back to a Dnat finish literally just now. Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to keep it at. Somewhere between JNAT and uh, the uh, Sahiro 20K. This was a. This is with um, about three days of growth. I don't shave every day. I'd rather wait at least a couple of days. I end up getting a much better shave.
So that concludes the first pass. We'll just do one more against the grain as usual. Oh, Sapona di Paolo, really good stuff. Mm. It's funny, I've never heard of the soap and uh, my friend Paul sends it to me. It's great stuff. Otherwise I'd have no idea what it is. Right, so that was my second pass. I'm using a splash and a matching uh, balm. That concludes the shave. Thanks, guys.